to from uh, on our video today we are dealing with the uh, history and government uh, paper, paper one we have questions and answers for you we request you to consider subscribing if you have not subscribed to our channel question number one explain six contributions of professor wangari madai in the Ken in the politics of kenya 10 marks she founded the green belt movement which advanced environment environmental and political activation in the country number two she served as a vice chair and later as the chair of national council of women of kenya which encouraged the participation of women in political affairs next together with other pro multi-party democracy activist she campaigned for the need to have political uh, plu uh, pluralism pluralism pl pluralism pluralism uh, let us repeat together with other together with other uh, multi-party democracy activist she campaigned for the need to have political pluralism in kenya next she was an elected member of parliament for tattoo constituency together with other activists she participated in a hunger strike in freedom corner uhuru park to put pressure on government to release political prisoners next uh, she was an assistant minister for environment natural resources and wildlife and an ARC government between 2003 and 2005 so i was saying uh, this question is very common as far as paper one is concerned this red government kcsc uh, uh what is important for you as a learner uh, you have to understand uh, contribution of different leaders kenyan leaders uh, to the politics of the republic of kenya question number 21a state three reasons why parliament is supreme in kenya why is it that the parliament of kenya is supreme number one parliament makes amends and re reappeal laws next parliament may pass a vote of no confidence in the government of the day next critical uh, the uh, play critical function which is exercised during debate next members of a parliament cannot be taken to court for anything they say while on the floor of the parliament next parliament approves government budget expenditure and approves presidential appointees next parliament can alter constitution approve war and extension of state of emergency so these are the reasons why uh, the parliament of kenya is supreme uh, it is supreme uh, then the last one is there is no law that can override laws made by parliament go to the next question explain six functions of the independent electoral and boundaries commission explain six functions of the independent electoral and boundaries commission 12 marks by one conducting and supervising elections and referenda number two the continuous they conduct continuous registration of voters next they conduct regular revision of the voters role next they review the names of the boundaries of constituencies and wards next regulate the process by which parties nominate candidates for elections next settle electoral disputes arising from nomination this question also is very common 
as far as paper one is concerned and uh, it will be very important for you to master the functions of IEBC very very important next we have explain six functions of ele uh, independent electoral and boundaries commission we were dealing with this uh, we have the last the last part of this one set to electro we have uh, read that one register as candidate for election it is the work to do that conduct voters education and next facil facilitate the observation monitoring and evaluation of election next develops a code of conduct for candidates and parties contesting elections next appoint election officials like returning officers their deputies and polling clerks so these are the functions of the independent electoral and boundaries commission the chair we have as as per the time of this video is wafula chebukati is under trouble now they are accusing him of uh, criminal offenses don't know uh, what will happen a uh, question number 22 list down five uh, factors that may undermine administration <laughs> Uh, on number 22 list down five factors that may undermine and administration of justice in Kenya this question also is very common uh, you need to master this one I have seen in many papers they repeat list down five factors that may undermine the administration of justice in Kenya number one inadequate personnel that is few judicial officers leading to backlog of cases next uh, alleged corruption in the court resulting in an fair ruling makes the public uh, lose faith in the judicial process next uh, low level of public awareness in their rights next high legal fees charged limit people from assessing justice then we have poor terms of service and working conditions of some members of judiciary then use of outdated laws next explain five functions of the national police service in kenya what are the functions of a national police service in kenya uh, this is the question that we are going to look at and uh, this question uh, we have we have uh, 10 marks 10 marks if you give enough points you will get 10 marks uh, the functions of police service number one maintaining law and order by preventing and detecting crime next arresting suspected criminals and taking them before a court of law next collecting and evaluating intelligent information and document for fighting crime next directing traffic and inspection of motor vehicles next providing security to senior government officers and buildings so it is the work of the the police service to do all this maintain law and order by preventing and detecting crime arresting suspected criminals and taking them before a court of law collecting and evaluating intelligent intelligence information and document for fighting crime detecting uh, directing directing uh, traffic and inspection of 
motor vehicles then providing security to senior government officers and building and also their property um if there is any other point that we have not highlighted on uh, this question or the questions that we have dealt with here on this video uh, we request you to write in the comment section we are also requesting you to like this video and if you like this video it will be recommended for other learners in different parts of the country and then they will benefit also by doing that you will make a revision uh, to be easy for others uh, then the work uh, we were talking about the functions of police service and we have uh, dealt with uh, uh, factors of providing security to the senior government officers and building we have uh, dealt with that uh, next preventing corruption and promoting transparency and accountability next training staff to the highest possible standards of competence and integrity next collaborating with interpol in fighting international crime next monitoring incoming and outgoing traffic at border points and then the last one assessing trainees or trainee drivers for licensing or to, uh, before they are given a license uh, this video was very long and uh, it is very important video uh, you cannot uh, lack a question on your paper uh, based on our research they keep on repeating these ones like now the question on uh, IBC the question of uh, the functions of the police service and this one this one of the factors that undermine the administration of justice these questions are very common they have been repeated over time in history and government KCSE paper one we thank you for watching this video up to the end and uh, again we remind you to consider subscribing to this channel